morning all welcome back to exam nerds 365 hope you all are good and safe in this video we are going to discuss about the current affairs of 18th january 2023 do watch the video till the end we will ask a question at the end of this video please type your answer in comment section let's begin the session the first district for the deployment of innovative 5G use cases vidisha is in which indian state madhya pradesh vidisha a district of madhya pradesh the first district ever in india for on ground implementation of ground breaking 5G use cases proposed by startups it is a joint initiative by the vidisha district administration and the center for development of telematics department of telecommunications let's talk about madhya pradesh where is the capital of madhya pradesh bhopal who is the chief minister of madhya pradesh shivraj singh chauhan who is the governor of madhya pradesh mangu bai si patel let's move to next question Which state has emerged as the top location for mobile gamers in India? Uttar Pradesh. Uttar Pradesh has emerged as the top location for mobile gamers, followed by Maharashtra, Rajasthan, Bihar, and West Bengal, according to the India Mobile Gaming Report 2022, issued by the gaming platform Mobile Premier League (MPL). The report is issued by the gaming platform Mobile Premier League. India overtook Japan as the top user of mobile games in 2016. Let's talk about Uttar Pradesh. Where is the capital of Uttar Pradesh? Lucknow. Who is the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh? Yogi Adityanath. Who is the Governor of Uttar Pradesh? Anandiben Patel. Which bank has partnered with Garuda Aerospace under the Kisan Pushpak scheme? Union Bank of India. Chennai's drone startup Garuda Aerospace has partnered with the Union Bank of India with 150 Garuda Agri Kisan drones receiving sanctions for a loan under the Kisan Pushpak scheme. The drone loan will help farmers to digitize land record operations for crop production and spraying of fertilizers. Give kills and pesticides with the help of drones. Garuda Aerospace is the first drone company to get the loan sanctioned. Not on this point. Let's talk about Union Bank of India. It is a public sector bank in India, founded on 11th November 1919. Where is the headquarters of Union Bank of India? Mumbai. Who is the non-executive chairman of Union Bank of India? Srinivasan Vardharajan who is the managing director and CEO of Union Bank of India A Manimaykalai which company backed the women's IPL media rights recently Viacom 18 Reliance backed Viacom 18 has secured the women's Indian Premier League media rights for 5 years 2023-2027. Let's talk about the BCCI. The Board of Control for Cricket in India is the national governing body of cricket in India. It founded in 1928. Where is the headquarters of BCCI? Mumbai. Who is the president of BCCI? Roger Binney. Let's move to the next question. Which ministry released the Rural Health Statistics Report? Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. The Rural Health Statistics Report was recently published by the Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. It is a vital source of information on health infrastructure and human resources available in the public health institutions of all states and union territories. Who is the Minister of Health and Family Welfare? 
ഡോക്ടർ മൻസുഖ് മാണ്ഡവ്യ who has been appointed as a new ambassador of India to the Republic of Armenia. Nilakshi Saha Singha Nilakshi Saha Singha, presently Joint Secretary in the Ministry of External Affairs, has been appointed as the next ambassador of India to the Republic of Armenia. Let's talk about Armenia. Where is the capital of Armenia? Yerevan Who is the President of Armenia? Vahen Kachetrian Who is the Prime Minister of Armenia? Nikol Pashinyan What is the currency of Armenia? Armenian drum Let's check the other options Taranjit Singh Sandhu Is the Ambassador of India to the USA Pradeep Kumar Rawat He is the Ambassador of India to China. Pawan Kumar He is the Ambassador of India to Russia. Let's move to the next question. Which country will unveil its stamp with Jawaharlal Nehru's portrait on its 75th Independence Day? Sri Lanka The government of Sri Lanka is all set to release stamps to commemorate its 75 years of independence. The Sri Lanka President's Media Division informed that the commemorative stamp will include a portrait of the first Indian Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru. The country which has been engulfed in a financial crisis will celebrate its 75th National Independence Day on February 4th this year. Sri Lanka will celebrate its Independence Day on February 4th. Let's talk about Sri Lanka. Where is the capital of Sri Lanka? Sri Jayawardena Purakote its legislative capital. Colombo its executive and judicial capital. Who is the president of Sri Lanka? Renil Wickremesinghe. Who is the prime minister of Sri Lanka? Dinesh Gunawardena. What is the currency of Sri Lanka? Sri Lankan rupee. Pineapple Express phenomenon which was seen in the news is related to which field? Meteorology. Atmospheric rivers, a part of Earth's ocean water cycle, are long narrow regions in the atmosphere that carry most of the water vapor from the tropics to northern latitudes. Pineapple Express is an example of a strong atmospheric river narrow regions in the atmosphere that carry most of the water vapor from the tropics. California and some part of the west coast have experienced a series of these rivers in the sky that have caused large scale devastation. Gina Lolo Brigida passed away. She was an actor. Italian film legend Gina Lolo Brigida dubbed the most beautiful woman in the world passed away an actor photojournalist and politician she achieved international fame and stardom National Startup Day observed on January 16 Prime Minister Narendra Modi had in 2022 announced January 16 as the National Startup Day in order to promote entrepreneurship and promote businesses with the aim to foster a spirit of entrepreneurship and innovation by involving the startup community multiple organization had conducted events they were conducted as part of the Asadika Amar Mahotsav celebrations let's check previous day question and answer What is the theme of National Science Day 2023? Global Science for Global Wellbeing. Union Minister of State Science and Technology Dr. Jitendra Singh released the theme for the National Science Day 2023 titled Global Science for Global Wellbeing. The National Science Day is celebrated every year 
on 28 February to commemorate the discovery of drama and effect since 1986. On this day, Sir C. B. Raman announced the discovery of the Raman effect for which he was awarded the Nobel Prize in 1930. Let's check today's question. Which movie won the Critics Choice Award for Best Foreign Language Film in 2023? Please type your answer in comment section. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.